In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the layout and colors of the tool palette in modeling mode in Unreal Engine 5.0. There's uh, 79 icons in this tool palette, and they're all the same uh, color with small labels. Uh, and so you might find that it can be hard once you get into the flow of modeling mode to find the tools you're looking for in this palette. And so we've added a few features uh, specifically for modeling mode to try and help with that. So what you can do is you can go to Edit and go to your Editor Preferences and scroll down to Modeling Mode under the Plugins section. And you'll see these there's four sections here that are called UI Customization. Uh, so what we can do is we can add things in here and then we can that will reconfigure the tool palette in Modeling Mode. Uh, in 5.0 we don't currently have any ways for you to do this with drag and drop or right clicking so the only way is via this uh, sort of settings editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add s uh, some section reordering. So for instance, uh, I use these attributes tools quite a bit sometimes. So I'm going to put attributes here and then I'm going to add another one and maybe we'll, we'll say mesh ops next. Okay, so now if I switch out of modeling mode and then back in, you're going to see now that the attributes tab is at the top instead of shapes and then mesh ops, just like the ordering I put here. Uh, and then the rest of the palettes maintain the same ordering they have by default. So I can also make a favorite section. So for instance, uh, I use this inspector tool all the time. Use that to sort of look at mesh properties. So I'm going to add favorites here and I'm going to type the name of that icon, inspect. Okay, I'm going to switch to select and back to modeling. And now you see I have a favorite section there uh, with the inspector tool. And so I could add other tools from the other palettes. I can use the tool uh, icon name here, and they will appear in this favorite section. Okay, I can also color the section. So I've got section colors here if I add one of those. Uh, you know, I often use these poly model tools. So I'm going to say poly model section, and I'm going to give that a really garish red color. Let's switch back and forth. And now you see poly model has this red highlight. I'm not going to miss it when I scroll through this list. Uh, and finally, you know, as you might imagine, I've got tool colors. You know, maybe I don't want to move Inspector up to the favorites, but I want it to be easy to see. Or say, let's say V-Sculpt here. So what I can do is I can type in, so here I have to do the section name, deform.vsculpt with no U, and I'm going to give it uh, sort of a blue color. Okay. Now if I switch to select and back to modeling, you'll see that my V-Sculpt icon, uh, not the label, but only the icon, has this blue tint. And so um, using these uh, uh, settings, I can uh, basically configure this palette to help me sort of more efficiently find the tools that I use all the time, uh, which really varies between users. And so um, it's the kind of thing you want to set up for yourself. Now, this is, a, this is an editor setting. It's stored in the editor INI file inside your project. So uh, if you open up that file, it's just a text file, and you can cut and paste this configuration to any other editor INI, so you can use that to share uh, a setup between projects uh, or between, between people uh, working on the same project. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, one little addendum to this video, I just discovered this uh, after I uh, said thanks for watching, is that there are export and import buttons up here, so if I click export, uh, I can export just these settings to a uh, INI file, and then I can use the import button to import them, and that will export a little text file uh, that is just these settings that I've configured. So even easier than cutting and pasting uh, between the INI files, you can just use export and import. Okay, thanks for watching for real this time.